Miss Kingsley, and welcome back to the first video I've made in a really long time. And I know the four of you who are watching are going to be like, Well, Kingsley, why were you gone so long? And I'll be like, well, because I got a phone. <laughs> this thing right here that's actually providing my lighting right now. Oh gosh, that's not a good frame rate. <laughs> and, um... I got a phone, my birthday happened, um, some other stuff happened, also I happened to uh, go up to um, my dad's house again, and now I'm in Canada again, so yeah, I am currently recording a video in Canada with the not so good internet, and that's why it, uh, wait, no, you don't, you don't know the time it took me to figure out how why the heck Streamlabs decided to update right in the middle of when I was hurrying. So anyways, I think this is a long enough intro. Yes, I'm sorry I was taking a break because everyone hates inconsistent YouTubers, probably especially when they're kids. But okay, so this video is going to be um uh I I forgot the number, but it's uh uh it's some building tactics in Minecraft. <laughs> that you probably already know and don't really care about to hear from a child, but okay. Well, anyways, let's hop into Minecraft, and I will turn off this. Uh, oh, okay. Oops, don't look at that. <laughs> Hi, I'm here. Um, so this is, I think, maybe I think this is the first video that I've ever used Streamlabs before. Okay, wait, hold on. Can you, okay, yeah, you're, you're seeing that. So... <laughs> I think this is like the f <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Uh, I think this is the first video that I've used um, stream lab stream labs in. Gosh, um, so that's gonna be cool. That's a new experience for the both of us. I mean, I've used stream labs for a while now. I've just haven't made a video because I've been figuring it out. Uh, yeah, that's totally what I've been doing. Also. Um, I've been planning new videos, so I'm not just not doing anything. Like, I'm still doing things. I'm just... It's quite annoying sometimes. <clears throat> so, my dressing room thing is not going to load because I got, um, a, uh, hold on. Just let it load because the Wi-Fi here is... Okay, maybe I'll cut this out. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. I was just, uh... My character creator wouldn't load, because why the heck not? But I fixed it now, and so, um... I'm gonna hop on my realm, because that's where I put, um... The, uh... Design, uh, things. You know, the thing I was gonna show you in the whole point of this video. Um, so... If my realm would load, um... But, okay, let me find something to talk about. Uh, Canada's been fun. Also, uh, I found this really cool, like, it was a mix of the Canadian flag and the pride flag, which I thought was really cool, because, you know, I mean, it's, it's cool. Um, and also, the problem with the character creator I was having was I have a skin pack of all my Dog Neander Kid skins I use, and one of them was a pride skin that I made a couple days ago. And I wanted to show that on YouTube, but apparently it's either my laptop, because I have a crappy laptop, which is probably because of my laptop. But anyways, <clears throat> it wouldn't load, so. So, there's been quite... Hold on, let me turn this up a bit. There's been quite the amount of changes I've made, especially with 1.20. No, I did not make a 1.20 video because I'm focusing on quality over quantity. Instead of doing like, oh, this, it's, it's Universal Donut Day, let's do a Minecraft video. Like, no, I'm not gonna, okay. So, <clears throat> as you can see, there's been cherry trees and some new stuff, and I added the letters right there, and blah, 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 tiny little details that you'll probably see throughout this video, so I don't really need to explain them to you, and I fell in my pond. <laughs> so, okay, <clears throat> here we go. Ah, that's what it is. Thirteen, are you sure that's thirteen? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's 14. Okay, 14. So, 14 building tactics you probably already know. That's what the title of this video is. So the first one is this jukebox design that I've made. As you can see, yes, it is a jukebox, and I'm not lying to you, but this... <laughs> I made a jukebox, okay? And I think it's cool because when you... Come on, you... Just... Um, because I think it's cool because if you go in here and take, uh, yeah, Relic, for example, and you put it in here... Or destroy it. So, anyways, the point is, when you play something in here, the, um, the music, oh, hey, look at that, points, get them, but they don't disappear. Anyways, so, you put the thing in the jukebox, obviously, but the glass part is because, um, when the little notes go up, um, it, uh, it kind of looks like they're sliding from, like, a wheel stuff like the old timey jukeboxes and all that so after I destroy this one uh, the next one right here is a pot with a pot in it and the new pots from 1.20 they are cool and one of the things I thought when I first saw them was are we going to be able to put flowers in there and of course the answer is no because no but you, since the height is weird, you can put flower pots in the pot tip part and put something in that flower pot itself, which I think is really cool. And actually, my friend's mom taught me this, um, so <laughs> that's funny. Um, the next thing you can do is you can make cattails, like those cattail plants. And I think uh, the first time I heard about this was watching a Skip the Tutorial video where I did these, <laughs> but then I took it and used my own imagination, and I made a potted bamboo, but since for some reason it's either a glitch or not, but candles don't disappear when you place a block and then destroy that block underneath it. So then I thought, well, <laughs> naturally I thought, well, okay, so place a block, then put brown candle on top of it, and then I can break that block and then put a pot with bamboo in it, and then it makes it look like cattails. So I think that's... see what I mean? <laughs> so I think that's really cool. The next thing is... Uh, well, actually, there's two things in one. But putting a barrier block and then either skulk veins or uh, glow lichen. And it makes it look like dead leaves or spooky leaves. <laughs> I don't know. So, I just think that's really cool. I actually learned this from my friend K9. Um, um, she uses it on her house, so I think that's really cool. And you probably already knew that because that's probably one of those famous things. And this is a um, not fully grown yet um, pitcher pot. And or pitcher plant. Pitcher plant. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and the way I did this to keep it from growing is I, I don't know if you can see that, but I put a structure void above it, and then I put one of these here, and so, yeah, it's really cool. Um, yep. So, next one is prices and realistic shops. Um, if you get that feeling sometimes where Minecraft just kind of becomes boring, you know what I mean? and it just feels really annoying and there's nothing to do. One thing that I liked to do was make realistic shops and currency and prices. My friends actually helped me out with the currency. Not helped me out, they gave me the idea. So thanks to, thanks to them, yeah. Um, and so this is the bamboo shack, one of the first things I built when 1.20 came out. And um, it's basically my realm's gift shop because it's spawn point islands souvenir shop and i just think it's really cool and the currency on here i think you know by now is um me and my friends have a texture pack where um it replaces uh these things with um leaf the leaf currency and the shinies currency
and so um, we all kind of did that together, and it's a cool pa texture pack to pick. So, um, so this place is basically just a shop. Like, there's books, there's banners. Um, <laughs> these are from an IBX toy cat video, but I think it's cool. Um, so, and they're just, just kind of making prices and stuff that you can sell. And another way you can make that look really, like, no, not the chat. <laughs> you can make it really convincing by even adding NPCs as the cashiers. So that's what I did. And I think it just makes Minecraft even less boring at times when it just gets to be that way. There's nothing to do. Especially, uh when I'm going to bed. Anyways, um, don't really know what that sentence was supposed to mean. But anyways, why can't I sprint? So, uh, that's prices and realistic shops, and I think it will make your realm, or anything really, better. Um, then another thing was, um, this looks like food. I don't know. I, I used it as a, um, hmm. food item in the, uh, Poppin' fast food over there, that blue thing, which is the first building that was built on here. But I use that as the Spawn Point Island special because I thought it looks like food. And so that was funny and stuff. <clears throat> I don't know why I put this TV here. I think it was just because I wanted to show off that I have a texture pack that makes the blast furnaces look like TVs. And, uh, oh, I can show you something. If you put, what is it, lava buckets, right? Well, whatever it is. If you put something in here as fuel, like that, and let me get something to burn. Bookshelves. Okay, well, my point is, it makes it look like the glitching TV screen. I don't know what fuel it uses, but I don't really care. Just letting you know, I guess. Um, next thing is if you... No, not, not my lighting. Next thing that you can do is if you place a bed and put signs all around it, it kind of makes it look like a baby crib. Or just a bed that has a lot of walls. So I think that's cool. That's about it. Um, this... I don't need that. Th Thank you. This thing... Um, I just thought... It's another bed, and if you place a door at the end, and a trap door at the other end, it makes it look like the footboard and the headboard, and since the headboard is usually bigger, I just think that's really cool. <clears throat> no, not the chat. Next thing is this clock, and uh, basically, I saw this somewhere, and then I decided to make my own version, and it's basically just a note block right there, trap doors all around and a bell hanging off of a uh, redstone lamp with an item frame and a clock. And it just makes it look cool. I don't know, it's a decoration thing. But you can also ring the bell. So, that makes it even better. Um, I'm not going to destroy this because it takes too long. And so this next thing right here is a clock tower that uh, has a daylight sensor on top. So at the night, at night time, it lights up like a real clock tower, and um, it has clocks all around, and it makes the clock item more useful than ever. <laughs> and um, yeah, so it was 14 building designs that you probably already know, because I think I, well, most of them I just remembered from stuff I've seen, which probably is just YouTubers. So that was... As I said, uh, building designs you don't care about, but I think it's really cool. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, hopefully you thought it was cool. Uh, I don't know, what was your favorite building design, I guess? You can leave it in the comments, but no one will, so. There we go. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you learned something, and you can use these in your world and it will make it less boring. <laughs> so, um, 
that's all from me today. I'll see you next time on Dog the Interkid. <laughs> Peace. Also, if you forgot, I'm in Canada, and um, tomorrow I'm leaving, sadly. So, the end. Bye.